G'day guys. When we introduced fiscal policy, we said that it could be broken down into demand side policy and supply side policy. Demand side policy, as it turns out, is the much more widely used of the two. So with that in mind, we're going to go over supply side policy first, and we're just going to go over it relatively briefly. So we said that supply side policy attempts to influence the aggregate supply in order to help the economy. More specifically, it generally aims to foster economic growth by increasing the aggregate supply. And the way this is typically done is to reduce government intervention in the economy. In other words, lower taxes, lower spending, and make less regulations. So the main philosophy behind supply-side policy is get government out of the way and let the economy grow. So the rationale behind it is as follows. If you reduce government intervention in the economy, then there will be less deadweight loss and higher production. So higher production means we've got a higher aggregate supply. Because there is higher income from the higher production, this will naturally lead to higher aggregate demand as well, because people are making more money, so they go out and consume more. And from these occurring, we get a shift in long-run equilibrium GDP to the right. So let's just have a look at that. Let's say that initially we are here, 